In this video, we are going to continue with maximum and minimum values of a quadratic function. You will find this on page 23 in the Namibia IS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Now, another method to find the turning point of a parabola is negative b over 2a, you just substitute that in first, then you get the x value of the turning point, and then negative, then it's the determinant, b squared minus 4ac over 4a, where x is equal to negative b over 2a is the axis of symmetry. Okay, so that is another method, but I'll show you in second method how to do this part of the y. Okay, but let's first look at an example. Sketch the graph of this. First find the turning point by using one of the following methods. Now, you can do the previous method by completing the square. You take a half out as a common factor, then you complete the square, then you factorize, then you multiply in, and that is the turning point. Because this was positive, then it's going to be like this, so it's going to be a minimum point. Okay, there's the minimum point. I want to focus in this example actually on this method. So I use the formula and I have to memorize it, negative b over 2a. So I substitute. So don't forget, I'm going to make it again a bit bigger. Don't forget that this is A, this is B, and this is C. Okay, so if I substitute, I substitute B, I substitute A, and I get 3. Now that's the line of symmetry. That's where, if you, that's in the middle, that this part will fold onto this part. Now that then I can use this formula. I do again substitution and I get a half. This is not usually the way. Well, sometimes it's actually easy to remember this formula, but you can maybe forget this one, especially that you must divide by 4a. Then what you can do is you just take this and you substitute that value into the original equation. So you take the original equation and you substitute that line of symmetry, that x value, in, and then you get your turning point. And because a is bigger than zero, it's a minimum point. Okay, and then you can continue, because I want to make a sketch, you work out the y-intercept, the x, you uh, make x zero, the x-intercept, you make y zero. Okay, but now, this is very important that you take note of this. The position of the minimum turning point indicates that the curve does not intersect the curve because it goes up, it doesn't go down. So you can already know and you can test it by the nature of the root. So if you're going to work out b squared minus 4, you get that that it's negative and that's no real root. So it's I, it don't intersect that curve. And then no x values, are, it don't intersect the x axis. It intersects the y-axis and it intersects at 5 and there is the turning point. It's always good, and I don't think I did it here, I just want to mention, to always write down the coordinate of the turning point. So it's 3 and a half. You can put it there underneath. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you just to do number A. And um, I think in this video, because we did it so many times, I actually only going to let you do number B. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, I'm going to make it a bit smaller before I start. So, y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 13 and sketch the following. And I want to now focus on method 2 in this one. This is number B. Okay, so if I want to find the turning point, let's say turning point, and I want to find, oh, that thing. So I get that x value by saying negative B over 2A. And don't forget that this is A, this is B, 
and this is C. So if I'm substituting it, it's negative. Don't forget to put in brackets. And A is 1. So this is going to be 6 divided by 2, and the value is going to be 3. And as, as I said, I prefer you using this one. So take this free because we do it a lot in other chapters also. So take the free and substitute it in the original one. So if I substitute in the original one, and then I will get 27 minus 18 plus 30. And that will give me an answer of 4. Okay, so because this is going to be, let me just quickly see, 27, oh, oh, it's free square. Oh, it's not, oh, I see my mistake. Oh, luckily. Can you see the mistake? I'm not going to redo everything. There's my mistake. It's square, so it's not 27. So it's going to be 9. Now, now it's going to work. And then this is going to be 22, so the answer will be 4. So the turning point, so therefore, turning point will be 3 and 4. Now, because A, let's just write it, A, let's see if we can see it, it's bigger than 0. Therefore, if it's bigger than 0, it's a smaller, it's a minimum turning point. Okay, now if you, and I want to just show you, if this was 3 and 4, okay, now it's, I think it's a bit low, if it's 3 and 4, it doesn't matter, 3 and 4, can you see it's not cutting, and how can I test to see that it's not cutting the x-axis? Work out the discriminant. So, so the discriminant, let me take another color, is equal to b squared minus 4ac, the nature of the roots. So b squared, let's just see, negative 6 squared minus 4, what is a, what is c? And that is going to be 36, and if I'm 52, can you see? And there it's going to be negative. So I'm going to say this one that therefore, let's just quickly see this. Let's go up. So therefore, no real roots. Real roots. Okay. And where does it cut the y-axis or the y-intercept? And then x is equal to 0. And if I put x is equal to 0, I'm just going to get 0 squared minus 6, 0, oh, there is the 13. So y is equal to 13. And now I can just make that sketch. Just going to move it up, 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 up. Okay, let's just see if I see, okay, I think maybe if I do it like this. No, it's just quite a lot. Okay, so if I'm going to make that sketch, I'm just going to, because it's cutting there at 13, hmm, and I have the turning point. I must move up still a little bit. Okay, let's just get my ruler. I hope it's going to fit like that. Okay. And then it's going to be I know where is it? The turning point, don't forget, and I'm just going to write it here. What is the turning point? <laughs> Let's just get the pen correct. The turning point was 3 and 4. Okay, 
So one, two, three, one, two, three, four. There's the turning point. And 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow. There. Okay. And now what I can do is just to help me a little bit. If I substitute this just to see this, I can quickly. I just substitute uh, in the place of Y. Uh, let's just see. If I put 13 just to get this. No, it's not a problem. What I'm going to show, if it's 1, 2, 3, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, and it's going to be up. Because that is the turning point. It's going to cut there. Don't have to work it out. Just work with symmetry. Oh my cross is not nice. Work with symmetry. So it's 3 to this side, 3 to this side, and the same there. And then I'm just going to draw my curve. Oh. Don't forget, let me just make this line a little bit longer. And if I now draw my curve, I know it's still on the ruler. Up to there. And then I can just write it down. And I can say y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 13. And now I can write my turning point. It's 3 and 4. It's good to write it in. I can even write this point in and that 0 and 13. And this point, 3 plus 3 will be 6 and 13. And there is my sketch. Not so difficult.